hi in this video I'll show you the overall uh, overall uh, review of um, overall overview of uTouch POS++ back office if you log into the uTouch POS software and from the main window you need to go to back office give your credentials in back office there is a in the left side you can select the tab and if you select the main setup you can change your basic information like business name address and your phone number license keys and general options you can change the format of the date and time and you can change the inventory um, button column and row numbers in advanced option you can change you can put a emergency emergency um, employee code and password if you uh, forget your password or you can you, if you expire any password you can log into the back office directly with this username and password and you can uh, unlock or active uh, user uh, user and new sale when you click on the quick sale it will uh, you can manipulate your uh, quick sale window from here and the payment options you can you can change your payment options um, payment uh, types from here uh, void items void tickets and uh, main window option dining table option dining table view and recent ticket view all those stuff you can change from advanced options in terminal option if you want to see the terminal as a full screen or a small screen you can change it from here POS type you can change the POS type uh, water skin setting ticket uh, tracking options useful features for restaurant useful features for retail you can cho change all those stuff from POS type in printing you can pr uh, you can uh, change your uh, printing uh, receipt printer uh, options from uh, from this tab you can change the water confirmation kitchen and bar printing and bill receipt printing options you can manipulate a custom header for bill a custom footer for bill custom header for receipt and custom footer for your receipt and you can put a, a pull display uh, message in in this section and custom loyalty you can put the uh, loyalty credit calculation and Pay, uh, payment option for loyalty credit in this device you can put your way scale of um, test or you can test your way scale uh, you can and you can uh, put it back to the default or you can clear uh, result you can select your uh, comport all, all those stuffs from uh, for the way scale from in this uh, section in external modules you can put all the information for credit card transaction uh, usually this is for marca payment system integration you can change your um, change your server by selecting this uh, this icon you can put it test server or you can production you can put it uh, production server if you are using a credit card uh, ser uh, credit card integration uh, gift card integration you can um, change the a server type by production um, and you need to put your merchant ID here and in the miscellaneous you can um, you can uh, put a slide animations and what are window sliding animations all the animation uh, all the uh, animations are in here and you need to save it and you, you can close it in the printer option you can um, you can put your printer printer type here and you can select uh, printer basic information printer model and you can select your receipt printer uh, options like if you want to print the receipt printer or if you have a cash drawer connected to the printer you can select the drawer pole if you want to print printer report you can print with the uh, you can check this uh, option in employee you can create your uh, number of employee as much as you want 
you can put password here and you can uh, you can put all the all the information related to your employee you can um, save your employee information here in role and permission you can um, you can manipulate all the role and permission related to the employee you can um, change the server role and permission you can change manager role and permission you can um, put uh, cashier role and permission if you want if you if you need another type of role and permission you can create uh, another role and permission by uh, pressing plus sign dining room you can add dining room floor um, um, to with from this section dining table layout you can uh, you can change your uh, dining table layout from here tax you can create tax you can change your tax type uh, tax amount from in this section supplier you can add uh, supplier here and you can um, uh, change their uh, name and you can put uh, put their uh, information in this section menu and inventory in this section you will uh, you can create your inventory you can create your inventory group your item category item modifier item mapping price schedule you can add a schedule uh, for the price if you want to uh, sell item in different different time you can schedule you can uh, do it from by pressing the plus sign you touch POS plus plus uh, software has a, a great feature for uh, printing your level you can um, you can print your level from here very easily there's a, a good example here as well uh, attached with the you touch POS plus plus software you can even access the database if you need to uh, add anything you can add you can uh, delete uh, if you want you can um, access all the features from database access you can even export your inventory to a excel file you can also import your um, inventory you can load your csv file you can load your mdb file you can uh, you can uh, import import um, all all items from a csv or mdb file also action log you can see all the actions um, made uh, from you touch pos plus plus software you can see you can save it you can close so that's it for the overview of you touch pos plus plus software hope you like the video thank you